Hey there everybody, how you doing? You know if I'm making a video, I have to be bitching about something, so let's get started. Remember the old campaign for Mighty Number no. 9? Lord knows I would be lucky if I had this shit linked up right. Well, here we have the page for it, the Kickstarter page, where it says Mighty Number no. 9. Classic Japanese side-scrolling action adventure, evolved and transformed transformed by Kenji Inafune and an all-star team of veteran Mega Man devs and you. Now, so what am I talking about today? Mighty Number no. 9 should be released soon. Yes, that is true. But if you scroll down about here, on the updates page, it says, Welcome to the world of Red Ash. Hi there, Mighties. So for anyone who, who has been paying attention to the forums, you have noticed that we just launched two new Kickstarters for the Red Ash property. So let's go ahead and click on this and see what is up. There it is. Welcome to the world of Red Ash. So here are the two new Kickstarters. Now see, here's my issue with us. I don't mind him making Red Ash because Red Ash is supposedly the spiritual successor uh, to Mega Man Legends. A series that I very much enjoyed. My problem is releasing two new Kickstarters before the official product of your first Kickstarter is even released. That's not right. There's a certain order you have to do. You have to go by here. We Kickstarter is not a fucking piggy bank, right? You come to Kickstarter to tell us your dreams, and then we say, okay. I want to support this dream. And then you go and you take that money that we've supplied you, supplied you, and you make money off of it. And you use that capital that you have earned to fund your other products or projects or whatever the fuck. So that we won't have to keep picking you up all the fucking time. You use the money that you gained, that you garnered in the first place. So, and Mighty Numbers 9 is not out yet. When it comes out, granted, he's probably going to sell a lot of copies. And then he can use that money to fund Red Ash. And not just come back to fucking Kickstarter. And I know I'm not the only one fucking... I'm trying not to curse. I know I'm not the only one who thinks this way. I don't care how many other people are out there saying, Hoo-ha! The spiritual, su spiritual successor to Mega Man. I mean Mega Man Legends. Oh, I can't wait to play it. I'm going to throw my money at it. No! Don't throw your money at it. Wait to... This should not have come out until after Mega Mighty Number no. Nine. My f words, words are not my friend today. <sighs> let's, let's scroll down and read some of the comments. Great, me reading and talking. That's gonna be fucking great. Mister Inafune, why are we? Why are we keep getting ads about other games? Seriously, this is not very professional to keep emailing us about other projects besides Mighty Number no. Nine. I joined this Kickstarter for Mighty Number no. 9, not anything else. Also, I have said before, I need to see Mighty Number no. 9 release before I invest further. We are still waiting for Mighty Number no. 9, so please put the effort on the main game before asking our my support towards other campaigns. Jeremiah Yip wrote, This is the wrong way about promoting another project. Especially the fact that the final project for Mighty Number no. 9 isn't even out yet. Posting updates about a different project is irrelevant. Uh, posting updates about a different project irrelevant to what we've backed is just spam. Whether it is a part of the franchise doesn't matter. You guys should have waited until after everyone has been playing your game after the official release or you just should have started a new Kickstarter project and promoted this outside of the Kickstarter project. Sorry, but my experience with Comcast and their lack of communication, especially throughout this past year, I do not have the confidence in concept, especially how you guys have gone about it. Giga Ganon has written, Well, I agree with you when you said that the update should not be here. But to be fair, Red Ash is sort of Mighty Number no. 9 Legend. They are linked, since, this is, uh, the, since there's Beck and Call in it too. But yeah, Inafuni is going too far. I hope that this is a good game, but I will not back it. Uh, Sinka, roots, Sinka writes, Like Silver Wings said, Maybe now you will finally see why the... Okay, this is some fucking feminist shit. We're going to scroll down there. Well, anti-feminist shit. Or whatever the fuck they had going on a while ago. 
People do not realize that Mighty Number no. 9 originally did not have a console version either. Oh, okay, I, I can explain now. Um, the Red Ash thing is saying that it's only for the PC right now. But for those of you who may remember, Mighty Number no. 9 was supposedly only for the PC also. But with stretch goals and such, uh, it was going to be released on the Xbox One and the PS4. Which they reached. So I'm pretty sure Mighty Number no. 9 will have the same. After they reach a certain amount of fucking money, they are released it on the consoles. After the handling of the Mighty Number no. 9 community, I rather rub red ash in my eyes than fun red ash. Was quite disappointed by the number nine, Mighty Number no. 9 demo. Announced the console version and I'm in. I'm pretty sure he will. They're going to be stretch goals. Ah, it's just so much fucking things. Alright. Count me among those who would be far more inclined to put money on Red Ash after seeing exactly what kind of finished and released product we are going to get off the Mighty Number no. 9 Kickstarter. If Mighty Number no. 9 had actually released in the spring... This would have been a fine timing for this, but as it stands, nope. I'll be more happy to put money down for Red Ash when it actually releases, if it actually releases, and if it is a decent product. Biting on a second Kickstarter campaign when I haven't seen the fruits of the first one yet is more risk than I'm willing to take. P.S. I won't go as far as to say that this update is an abuse of the project's update page as some others are crying from the rooftops since it is likely uh, to be relevant to many backers' interest. Now, like I said, I have to agree here, reading our little comments, that I don't mind supporting Red Ash, but only after I get my finished Mighty Number no. 9 product. I have to know that you're capable of committing to it and producing a great product for me to play, or at least just a decent product, because I'm so in love with Mega Man. I'm in love with Mega Man Legends, but everything comes at a certain time, and you trying to pump up another project before you even release the first, it just seems, uh, it strikes me as a little bit greedy. Anyway, you all have a blessed day. I haven't slept much, so I'm fucking slurring way more than I'm supposed to be, and I just kicked my fucking microphone. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm tired. I'm trying not to curse, but I'm cursing, so who they? You all take care.